Hey everybody, Pretty and Flawed here. So today I have a very, very simple DIY project that of course you guys all know I have pieced together with pieces that I have in my stash that I'm just trying to use. I kept it plain and simple around this part um, and yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I did to make this and uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy it. It's super simple, super cheap and yeah, let's get right into it. So I'll be using one of the bowls out of that two pack that you can find in Dollar Tree. If you can't find those, you can always use these napkin ring holders. You would just put one on each corner of the frames and it'll uh, come out as a stand. Uh, then you'll need the E6000 glue. I found this to be easier to use than hot glue because you can you have time to reposition your frames. And then I'm using three of the black 4x4 frames. Also, I have two bags of the black sand. This sand also comes in tan, but because the frames are black, I found the black to be perfect. And then this is optional. You can use the glass gems for decoration. So the first thing that you're going to do is remove the bottoms of the frames. You are only going to need one of those, so you can discard of the other two if you like. And then I'm just going in and pushing down those metal pieces that hold the frame, the bottom piece in, just making those go back down flat. Now with this third piece, um, you're just going to remove all of the paper and the wire and everything that's on there just get rid of that but don't worry about the mess that it'll make on the back because like that right there you won't even see that so with this bottom piece you are going to use your e6000 glue in the grooves all the way around it and this is to secure that the bottom will not fall out once you have your sand and everything in there so i'm just putting this all around And then I am going to lay the bottom piece down back in there as if I was putting it back together. I'm also going to push those metal pieces down for extra security. And that will be your bottom part of your brush holder. So with the other pieces, what you are going to do is, I'm just trying to see how I'm going to position them. But you're just going to take your glue and you are going to put it around the top part right there and basically do it all the way around on all three until you have them stacked. You don't need very much glue but you need enough. So I'm just going to see where I'm putting it and then I'm just going to make sure once I get the, the frame where I want it, you give it a nice good push and that way you know that it is um, secure in the cracks or you know in the middle part of it so that you don't have any sand or anything leaking out of it. And then I'm just going to do the same with this piece and this is going to be the top piece that I'm putting on. And I just make sure that I give that a nice good push. So then after that sits for a few minutes, I went ahead and went and put the glue on the bottom of the bowl and I'm using this as a stand. I just thought that would be a nice touch to it. So I put that on there and then I'm going to push down in the middle just to give it you know that extra security to make sure that it's on there so before I let it dry overnight I just went ahead and went in and put the gems around the edges you can use bling or whatever you want to decorate this with you can even make this into a jewelry box or whatever you like um, but I'm using it for a makeup brush holder so that is the finish uh, look of it and then the next thing you're going to do, it has sat for 24 hours. I left that sitting to make sure that it was dry. And then I just put the sand in. After you put your sand in, you put your brushes in and you're done. Okay, so 
now that you saw how easy that was uh, let me know down in the comments if you're going to make this if you would do this and leave it as a makeup brush holder or what else would you do with these three frames stacked up like this uh, I really like the black uh, pebbles or sand that I put inside because it just blends with the black and like I said I love black on black or, or whatever and yeah so this is another simple DIY project that with me using leftover items that I have in my stash so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later bye